Okay, guys, so we got this, uh, I think it's 18 Chevy Cruze. They said it's misfiring. So I'm going to scan all the modules here, see what kind of codes we got. Maybe we'll take it for a test drive real quick. I think it might get interesting. I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. Let's just scan it pretty quickly. So what do you guys think it's going to be? Because we got three codes. Do you think it's going to be a misfire, maybe a lean condition? I don't know if this one's turbo. Assuming it's probably turbo. Let's see. Report. What's our mileage? Why didn't it pull the mileage? 53296. 53296. Enter. Ooh, control circuit. Yo, guys, we got a control circuit. An event performance. You think something might have been chewing on these? Because ejector uh, control circuit's not a common one. That is definitely not a common one. Well, this is probably direct injection. Let me go save this. Let me go get the license plate. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. Let's try starting this up. Oh, it's definitely misfiring. You can definitely feel it. Let's go into our TCM. I was just going to say, look at it. All right, check engine lights flashing. Um, hopefully, with it being a control circuit. Hopefully, with it being a control circuit. Uh, is it not? It says history. It's kind of funny. Let's go to live data. Fuel injector. I think we should just go look at this. It's not disabling the injector. Although this injector control circuit ain't running. I don't know if it's because, uh... If it's because the, uh... What do you call it? I don't know if it's not running because it's, it's misfiring. Let's go check this. I'm gonna have to pull this one in for this one, guys. Well, one is kind of cold out here. both hands on this one Is that right up? guys I can't see any obvious signs so I'm gonna shut it off we're gonna get this inside and we'll go after it once we get inside okay guys so I pulled the cover off the cruise I'm gonna try to scope this injector one right here and then we'll do injector two two um, I got the scope set up I hope it's set up right um, I did notice that here in the back uh, it looked like something was eating stuff, and I was like worried that the injectors are going to be down there. I didn't know they were in the valve cover right here. So we'll start this up, and then we'll go scope this injector, and we'll see what's going on with it. Let's see. Start this up. Here we go. Let's go up here and check this out. Doesn't look like we got anything. Ground's good. Looks like we have anything right there. We get another lead out. Because I didn't have the pins pushed in far enough. So let's look at our yellow. Let's look at our yellow. This is what we see in our yellow. We got this pulse right here where it's pulsing comes down and it pulses again so if we go to our green trace look at that so on this yellow trace our injector is never firing see that's what it looks like when our injector fires so this one 
Since we got our voltage, our issue is our injector. Our injector is bad. Isn't that crazy? We got a bad injector. Okay guys, so I want to just scope all these, make sure that we're looking at the right things. So right now, our green trays is on our blue and white down there at the bottom. So, green trays, looks good. That's blue and white. So that's injector four right here. So injector four, looks good. What is this one on? This one's on our brown. Our brown is right here. So I think the brown is capturing the voltage from this other one. So we want brown and white, which is this one. And we see nothing on our brown and white. Yeah, there's nothing on brown and white right now. So, brown and white is a no. That's injector one. That's the one we had our code for. Let's go to uh, green and gray. Over here to green and gray. There's our green and gray. Green and gray looks good. And what's our other one? Blue and gray. Blue and gray is right here. So, blue and gray is that one. Look at that. So you can actually see which cylinders are companion by uh, jumping these. Let me see if I can find companion ones for you guys with a good one. So I'm not sure what's going on here because I went back through and I don't have the same pattern when I connected these back up. So I'm just calling bad injector one. After we do injector one, we'll uh, test everything and we'll see we'll see what a known good looks like and we'll get a known good capture. From this car okay guys so we got a new injector from gm but new o-rings i guess it's four o-rings i don't know if we're gonna need them all and i got a new high pressure line so i'm gonna get this apart and we'll see if we can get this replaced and fixed okay guys here's our bad injector look at this thing look at how bad this is i don't know what all that white is because that had to be something that was laying down here i cleaned up the hole inside here got the hole all nice and clean the cameras showing black for some reason but in person you don't really see that black so I don't know why it's doing that maybe if I zoom in yeah you can see it there so uh, we're going to put that in I'm gonna put new o-rings on here I don't have the tool for this so that's why I'm only doing the one and hopefully we can slide the fuel rail down and bolt it all down and be good to go okay guys so I got all the injectors in see that oh got the new one in here the rest of the old ones, but everything's all tightened down, torqued. Uh, I'm going to uh, put the coil packs in, torque them down, then we'll try it. There we go, guys. It's all together. So let's uh, start this up and see what happens. We may have to clear codes, though. I don't know. Oh, we got to build high pressure fuel, too. I don't know if there's a procedure for priming the pump. I don't think there would be a procedure. Just 
Because we gotta get all that air out of the rail. Oh, you know what? I didn't connect the power up to the injectors. I forgot to plug the connector in. Look at that. So that makes a huge difference right here. There we go. Now let's see if it'll start. I bet you it makes a huge difference now. There we go. See if it'll smooth out. We may have to do a. We may have to. Well, we're probably gonna have to do a crank relearn. And then we're also going to have to prop, we might have to do plugs. Let's see. I wonder what this sounds like in clear flood. I think we might have to do a spark plug and stuff on here yet too. I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit. Let's see what happens. This thing was driven misfire. So we'll have to see what happens. Guys, we're gonna do a crankshaft position relearn. Okay, so now we gotta uh, press the brake pedal. I don't know if the car does it for us. Accelerate the wide open throttle. There we go. So that worked. Okay. Let's do an idle learn. Oh, I guess we gotta. Guys, not sure if I got it, but I did an idle. Okay, guys, so I did an idle relearn and a crankshaft relearn. Not sure if I got it on film because I ran out of storage. But uh, it's not misfiring right now, but it has a tap. So we're gonna do an oil change tomorrow and uh, we'll take it for a test drive. Hey guys, we just started up Chevy Cruze. Seems to be running pretty good right now. I'm gonna take it for a test drive, see what happens. It did start a little rough. I'm just gonna do a fault scan. Take it for a drive, see what happens. Then we'll start looking at some live data. around a little bit they end up zeroing out just see her like steady cruise oh it's changing a little bit because we're going up and down a hill but man if they do zero out still learning sometimes you see like negative 20 but it's zeroing out you 
can see. Like there. Just cruising down the highway. It's pretty flat right here. And you can see that now they went like super negative and now they're at zero again. Right so it's learning. Field trim enable is it. I mean, field trim learn is enabled. And man, this is running great. I'm gonna drive for a couple more minutes and head back. Should be done. Things running amazing. Sorry to start coasting, but uh, there you go. So we're on the gas now. See our fuel trims are really, really good. Now we're gonna be coasting again, so they're gonna go all over the place. Here's the slowing down. But what we'll do here is sometimes they go to like negative numbers, sometimes they go to positive. See, we we'll accelerate here. I'm starting to stop. Just kicked in. Look at that. This thing runs amazing. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I don't know what happened there with our fuel trims. We're like super negative right now. It's correcting though. Slowly. We are uh, back at idle. Look at that. Maybe just didn't learn this. Well, that's correcting, so I'm not too worried about it. See, it's slowly coming down. Probably didn't know. We went from 20 down to 13, so I ain't worried about that. It's still correcting. Let's see. Uh, let's go back. Okay, sorry. So if we click DTCs, we have none. So it's awesome. These are going to probably be what hasn't run yet. Yeah, these are all what hasn't run yet. So I'm not too worried about it. So I hope you guys like it. See you later.